Welcome back to the Accessible Art History YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm covering a work that isn't a traditional medium. However, jewelry is still an important part of the art historical timeline because it shows us how people chose to make themselves feel beautiful. This particular example is quite ancient, so to learn more, keep on watching. This stunning set of a necklace and beads looks like it could be found in any high-end jewelry store today, but in fact, they date from all the way back to the 18th and 17th centuries BCE. The set is from the Babylonian civilization and is made of the highest quality gold, so found with other pieces in Mesopotamia, and archaeologists believe that it may have been once part of a jeweler's hoard. Today, they are in the collection of the Metropolitan Museum of Art. Each pendant on the necklace represents a different god of the Babylonian pantheon. There are two female figures wearing long dresses. They are representations of the protection goddess Lama. The pendant that resembles a sun is a representation of the sun god Samash. By placing these deities on the necklace, the wearer was likely seeking their protection and faith. Studying jewelry is a fascinating way to catch a glimpse into the past. With this example, we can use it to understand how people sought to combine religion and beauty to enhance their lives. Thank you. 